I have always been a martial arts fanatic, especially watching it on the big screen. In this episode, I want to share with you 10 things you may not have known about the legend himself, martial arts master, one of the reigning superstars of martial arts films, Sonny Chiba. I Chiba was one of the first actors to achieve stardom through his skills in martial arts, initially in Japan, and later, as you will see, he exploded before an international audience who fell in love with his skills and charisma. So there are 10 things we're going to share about this superstar that we just lost, and we're starting with number one. In high school, Chiba dedicated himself to artistic gymnastics and won the National Sports Festival of Japan while in his third year of high school. Number two, Chiba was a serious candidate for a place on the National Japanese Olympic team. This was in his late teens, but he was sidelined by a back injury. Number three, Sonny Chiba was a university student when he started his martial arts career. He began studying martial arts with the renowned Kyokushin karate master Masatatsu, Mas Oyama, who he later portrayed in a trilogy of films, which led to a first degree black belt on October 15, 1965, later receiving a fourth degree on January 20th, 1984. Yeah, he was a real deal. Number four, in 1960, Chiba was discovered in a talent search, and it was that time he was given the name Sanichi Chiba. Number five, his acting career began on television, starring in two tokusatsu superhero shows, first replacing the main character, then later as Goro Narumi, Messenger of Ally. Number six, Sonny Chiba had his movie debut in 1961 with the film Invasion of the Neptune Men. Number seven, by 1970, Chiba had started his own training school for aspiring martial arts film actors and stunt performers known as the JAC, Japan Action Club. He starred in several more films, among them Karate Kiba, the first movie for him about martial arts. Number eight, Chiba's breakout film, and one of my all-time favorites was Street Fighter in 1971. Yeah, I was a little, tiny little shorty. You guys don't have a clue about the awesomeness of the whole martial arts genre in the 70s, so you can go back and check it out, but it all started with Street Fighter. There's even a video game called Street Fighter. Yeah, Sonny Chiba. And a whole lot of films came behind it. That put him on the international platforms as a superstar and hey you know what it got him started for a nice long run of successful hit films in the martial arts genre number nine the film street fighter and its sequels established chiba as the reigning japanese martial arts actor in the international cinema for the next two decades And number 10, we lost Sonny Chiba at the age of 82 on August 19th, 2021, as a result of complications from the COVID-19 pandemic. Yeah, that happened. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Tony on the Scene. I'm on location contributing to the Hollywood Spotlight. This episode, 10 things you may not have known about Sonny Chiba, or at least an introduction 